Barbie Sands and Alamar behind that. Substantial is running on. And for the closing stages, Beau Jardine, Dark Jacket and Pale Sleeves near side. North are amazing. The Grey Jacket down the centre. It's between this pair as they run up towards the line. And Beau Jardine has just won. The North are amazing. Behind those furlongs to go. The trio almost in line. Ventura, Lightning in the centre, being ridden along. Ropey Guest on the left comes under pressure. Hands and heels for Ainsdale in the red jacket nearest the stands at the moment. At the furlong pole, very little between Ainsdale in red and Ropey Guest in the white and blue jacket. But it's just Ainsdale who's proving the stronger and goes on to win by a length and a half, maybe a bit more. Ropey Guest in second, Ventura, Lightning for third. Up to the staying on in the closing stages. Ventura Diamond and Murra Moore. There's very little between these two fillers as they race towards the line. Ventura Diamond trying to fend off Murra Moore, and it is just Ventura Diamond beats Murra Moore. The waiter towards the right, still holding the advantage at the moment. Solo saxophone in second place is uh, less than a length behind him. They head down now with just one furlong over to go. And Solo saxophone, the yellow and light blue, has drawn level now with Alfredo as they race inside the closing stages and now it goes on by length, a length and a half or so and so solo saxophone uh, led about 300 yards from the line and off he goes and uh, Alfredo accepts it, so solo saxophone um, STS out in front here leading still by a length and a half this is not going to be a super fast finish by any means Cloud Thunder, Orange Cab in second place, uh, Horridge Flower with a white face behind those in third they've still got more than 300 yards to go which for some of these is going to be an awful long way. Barrar is back in fourth position. Whitehaven, though, heads down, approaching the furlong pole. Two or three lengths ahead. Cloud Thunder backling on, still there in second position. Horridge flies behind him in third, and then Barrari in fourth place. But there's a race up towards the line. He certainly stays well, Whitehaven, and he's game and honest as well. Comes through, made most of this, goes on to win well. Second position will go to Cloud Thunder. Horridge on the extreme left, and between those Dolphin Vista only two lengths away behind those to Water's Edge. They're heading down towards the last furlong now. And on the extreme left, the red jacket of Awake My Soul to Dolphin Vista in second. Kryptos has weakened and is uh, maybe going to fight out third place with Water's Edge. But at the age of 11, Awake My Soul heads up to the line to score with Tom Queeley. Second place to Dolphin Vista. Kryptos narrowly holding third. Gats under pressure. Bad and scoff behind those, but it's Chance who heads down out of the dip now with a length of advantage. Modman in second. Mascat is still battling on in third place. Adagato behind those. They head towards the line. Chance continues to be in front. Modman switches but won't get there. Chance wins. Modman in second.